going with this heat, let me know. This uh -huh. is hotter than it was last year. So all of y'all that played around. All right. All right. You look what you got to look forward to. All right. Huh? All right. You want to you wanna enjoy this? Forever? Thank God. Thank God. Now, uh, Pastor, <laughs> Mr. Cousin, I'm going to just say Brenda, because, you know, I'm no disrespect or anything, but she was trying to give you a little trivia about me when I used to go to the council. So I'm talking about myself. <laughs> I went to the council one summer. Had me on a strawberry blonde wig. in Sunday school. Uh -oh. So you know I had to sit up front all that morning. You know how they sit up there. Yeah. <laughs> they said she done backstage now. <laughs> My mother was already up there so she didn't know what I was coming up with. <laughs> she said you didn't dare. I said what's the matter? She said go get one of your other wigs and put them on. Well I knew that was coming, right? So I have my hair all pinned up, corn rolled up, pinned up, one straightened out and nothing. I didn't bring no other wig, because usually I said, like, you change, take, change your clothes, change your nundies, always take, change your wigs. <laughs> Ain't nothing funny. Something that happened to one. <laughs> no for. Uh, One presentable, and I left all the rest of them home. So she said, "Go to, go on back to and get." I said, "I don't have no other way, mom." She said, "Oh Lord, you just, you just turn, 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 turn." <laughs> so that council, she, she said, "I was short, but that council, I was unseen, cause they ain't nothing." They said she just gone to the devil for sure. <laughs> After that, I didn't wear the strawberry blind braid no more. I got one with a little streaks in it. Because right. back then, you didn't dye your hair, you didn't do nothing. Some of them, in some of the churches, not in Philadelphia area, all they wore was black and white. White blouse and black skirts. They didn't wear no rings and jewelry and earrings and... I don't, I don't see y'all with no earrings, but yeah, dude, there's some earrings there. There's some there, yeah. But they didn't wear earrings. When you got engaged, they gave you a watch. So all of us wearing watches in Philadelphia, we all engaged. <laughs> you weren't allowed to wear a wedding ring until the day you got married. Yes. If you're a doctor now, you're going to be making money. If you was back in that day, they would say, now, sis, come on, sister pastor, he need a wife. Now pick out a nice girl in your church, else we got one for him. <laughs> and they gonna have you married up. <laughs> you, you don't want to get married up, you better pray up. All right, all right, all right. All right, it's hot. Y'all had good preaching all week, right? Yeah. And I know you get excellent preaching. Yeah. 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 Than Elder Frederick and, and Evangelist or Pastor Suffolk Bishop. She got every kind of title. You know, she's a mother, she's a sister, she's a songstress, she's a pianist, she's a preacher, she's a wife, she's a good person, good friend. Amen. She's well rounded. But Mother Davis said she didn't know uh, Helen Campbell passed out. Well, you know her, because you know Brit, Sister Brenda. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Sister Brenda is just like Helen. Yeah. May not be quite as, uh, you know, they were a little more, that's it. They didn't bend too much. She had a little more bendability, maybe, maybe, because she's a little younger. See, the younger we are, the more bendability we have. We give you a chance. We give you a chance. They didn't give you no chance. 
And you were supposed to say do 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 do, and you say da 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 da. You say I'm rich. Say I'm for my. <laughs> Yes. You couldn't testify. You yes. couldn't sing. But you sure could get that money. Yeah. <laughs> hey, sir, I'm going to in a minute, but you can get that offering. You hear what I'm saying? Because <laughs> church got to run on fire, as they say. Oh, but anyway, <laughs> God is good, isn't he? Yes. Yes. Say hallelujah. 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 Jesus, the food is love. I got $10 in my pocket. Oh, 
way to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Now, what God am I serving? Yeah. I'm the God that provided. Yeah. Yes, yes. Get to the supermarket and buy four or five bags of groceries. Right. Ten dollars. And got some change that do. That you got to be serving? Yes. Huh? Yes. I like your testimony. Because say it takes me back. Everybody gonna go through struggles. But I tell you, I'm glad I went through every struggle. I'm glad everybody that ever talked about me put me down, say I wasn't no good. I'm thankful for them. Those are my best friends. Why? They made me pray. Come on. Say whatever they want about you, baby. All you have to do is just lift up your eyes and continue to pray. Hey, you ain't no good, but that's all right. Did God say you weren't no good? So you pray. Right. When he put you down, and you ain't no good, and you know you ain't doing right, so why are you acting like you do doing right? That just makes you do better. How? Hallelujah! Think everybody's in love with us? No. But I'm choosing a God that I know who I'm serving. Yes. See, and when nobody else want to be around me, I still got a friend. Yes. I like to be by myself. I don't mind. I'm thankful for my children being there. I admit I didn't want them there at one time. I was more out going, getting out to business, leaving them. But I'm thankful for them because I don't have to cook now if I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, if I stay upstairs and say, Mom, you want me to bring it up? <sighs> yeah, come on up. Yeah, come on up. Yeah, come on up. So I'm thankful now. Yeah, my children are with me. You know what I mean? But oh my God, I'm never alone. That's right. I'm never alone. Because he walks with me. He talks with me. He's always there with me. Ah, he tells me he loves me. When everybody acts like they want nothing to do with me. He tells me he's my friend. That's why I like the song, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to me. Hallelujah. What God are you serving? I'm serving a God that's everything I need. Everything I need. He's no money. No ain't got none. Yes, yes, yes. He's no money. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yes. When my body is ain't then pain. I take the bottle of olive oil and start rubbing it. Oh, yeah. And rubbing it and say, Jesus. Yes. Jesus. He's no healed. Yes, yes, yes. Pennies are not going, but before I die, they're going to be going. So yeah. I said, you might die with something, I got to die with nothing but the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Talk about it. Come on now. Yeah. All you got to die with is the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. And be ready to go to heaven. That's right. I'm serving a God that sees me for who I am. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. People say, oh, she fussed, she's me. I've had people walk up to me and say, what you fussing for now? You just come to the place. And I'm talking to somebody else. You wonder what I'm fussing for. But I ain't fussing with you. That's right. That's right. Say, I know I got the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Because even though I had the Holy Ghost since I was five years old, the Holy Ghost, how should I say, was the Holy Ghost really, did it really have me? No. I baptized, spoke in tongues, cried. I was a child, and I wanted the Holy Ghost before my grandmother came from an Eastern District Council meeting. And I said, God, please, and the Lord bless my little heart. And I spoke in all tongues. And I know I did. Because I was around enough tongue people to talk to people. We played upstairs over the church in our apartment, enough tongues. We played tongues. <laughs> you ever played tongues? Yes. But we played tongues. <laughs> Can't shout now, but we played some shouting. Yeah. But we too. Yes. We can mark everybody in the building. Yes. <laughs> oh. So I know when I got the Holy Ghost. But was I letting the Holy Ghost do everything that was close to it? No. But one day, when God got a hold to me, when nothing I can do about it, but yield, I'm serving a God that'll keep you. And I know he'll keep you. Because there's many times by they say one name, they nasty to me, I had ten things to say back before they finished the one. But God said, not so. So I got to yield to the God that controls the tongue. And I know when he controls my tongue. I'm not mean like people think I am. I'm not hateful like people think I am. I am wonderful. 
Most wonderful. And I'm glad I knew it. Because if I didn't, the world would make you think he was. That's right. You know, everybody don't like her. Y'all love her, but everybody don't like her. A lot of people to be around her to get what she got. Amen. Say amen. Amen. Come on, say it now. Amen. amen. So you know what you got to do. You got to do like they did yes. Moses. Yes. What did they, they do for Moses? Moses? They stood on each side and held his arms up. Because do you know I don't care how strong, how long we can say, we get weak. Yes, yes. And you know why we get weak? Do you know more about we get weak? Huh? Oh, we are very human. But y'all make us weak. Say amen. Amen. Real amen. 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 Y'all make us weak. Amen. When we see that you're not coming up to what you should come up to. Amen. Huh? Amen. We can see it before you see it. That's right. And that hurts. You know when a child don't do good, that mother gets hurt. Yes. And sometimes she can speak out, but then there's time she gotta go. She gotta keep it to herself. Right. Yeah. And just nurture it along until yeah. after a while. You begin to bloom back in place. It's the same way with your best things of God. There's some things I'll stay out and some I won't. And later on I say, I'll do it. How do you know it? Because the Lord showed it to me. Right. I told him one time, I said, y'all better stop that me. Take what I say to the bank and bank it. All right. Amen. Look at me like I'm crazy, but it comes to it. Don't it be? Amen. Say it loud. Amen. Stand up and say it. Amen. Glory to God. So when she speak to you, sometimes I say, oh, she's picking on me. She's picking on me. I'm trying to mold you. That's right. To what she see God wanted her. Hallelujah. Huh? Amen. Oh, come on now. Amen. Amen. She ain't been around in the industry, been in it all her life. What's your name? Really? Yeah. 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 She knock them over. Yeah. 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 I can't say nothing to you. I ain't asked you nothing. <laughs> With all those years, do you think she's been around and not know something? Not have experienced something? Not have something. gone through something? Maybe she ain't going through everything I'm going through. And I haven't gone through everything she's going through. But look, I've been around, I've been in church for how long? I got Holy Ghost when I was five. But I've been, in, I've been saved, I've been in the church for 72 years. That's a long time to deal with. Church, bro. Yes. And for the many years, I should know something. Yes. About something. Amen. About God. Amen. And about God's people. Amen. And you know why I've been in it so long? I was born in it. I didn't choose it. It chose me. Yes. And you know what? I'm glad that it chose me. My mother was saved before I was. She was saved at the age of eight. So you know when I was born, she was saved. My grandmother, my grandfather was saved in the church. My mother had the Holy Ghost before my grandfather. And everybody think that, of course, he was the pop. He was her father. He had the Holy Ghost first, but he didn't. Maxine grandmother had the Holy Ghost first, Florence Cornish. She got baptized in the Holy Ghost Church, and they wanted to know what kind of mess was this. My mother wanted to get baptized, so her mother said, yeah, but I'm going to go see what it's about. She got baptized and got the Holy Ghost. My mother got baptized. My grandfather, later on, he wanted to know what all this mess was about. So he gets drunk one night, goes stumbled in the church. <laughs> he walked out sober. Well. Huh? So uh, well, we, come, we were born into this thing. And I'm glad I was born into it, but they're not in it now. Yeah. But you know it said, he chose me yeah. out of all people in the world. He chose me. I'm glad he chose me. That's why I'm choosing him. To live for him. The almighty God. The all shine The all strength. He's everything. What God are you living for? What God are you choosing? Don't choose the God of the world. Come on. Glamorous life won't take you to heaven. Even the music world is nice. But sometimes our young folks get too caught up in the music world. 
Uh -huh. And you know the music world takes you straight to hell too. Yes, it will. You gotta, you gotta be strong. Yes, it will. When you get out there on the traveling circuit, you gotta be strong. Yes. Better be strong. Yes. Because the devil's stronger than you. Yes. Yes. That's right. That's right, little brother Keith. Better be strong. Because I see you get out there, get popular, get famous. And next day you know they're not living for God. I don't care how good you sound. When God give you a talent, when God give you a talent, use it for God. Don't choose the God of the fast life. Yeah. Everybody like nice things, don't you? Yes. I want nice things. And I'm still waiting for my millions. Are y'all praying for me? Yes. Why do have you ain't been playing over there shaking this head. <laughs> 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 God, are you choosing to serve? Choose the Almighty God, the one that will never leave you, never forsake you, never fail you. Follow the God of your pastor. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.